go boys welcome back to deck Grand productions for another video i appreciate y'all tapping in and today we have a large one so to speak we got the keys to our house we closed yesterday you're gonna see more than that in today's video it's kind of crazy it's still surreal uh we were there late last night knocking out some work and again you'll see that you'll see that in today's video don't skip watch it all the way through drop your boy a thumbs up on this and uh we got to get this thing pulled out because i was thinking considering the keys are done the house is done we signed all the paperwork I don't really need this garage anymore and I could really use the space to start throwing a lot of our furniture and stuff from all three garages that we're taking. Figured I could use all this space and just kind of stack it all right here for the movers because you know, we made it boys. We are at a point in time in life right now where I ain't moving shit. We're already this deep into debt, uh, like 380,000 after down payment and stuff to be exact. We're gonna utilize this space for the movers, which means we're gonna move the OG Lucifer into the crib today. Our goal is to be completely moved into the house by March 1st. That's the goal. So we can start with the OG going in there first and figured, uh, you know, it's a beautiful day to do that and a beautiful day to share that with you all. So start her up and I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna just floor it while cranking it and just as a hoorah, cause he's never coming back. Lucifer warm up, we gotta talk about Big Blue here because Big Blue is actually going to be on the channel pretty frequently. This was my grandfather's and you know, it was passed out after he passed away, but my dad hasn't really been able to do much with this. He's been busy and I figured, you know, it's time to get this thing looking sick. So I'm thinking some off-road front and rear bumpers because those are kind of rusted. We're gonna get some new wheels. I like the fuels, um, those look sick. And we actually have new, I think, ridge grapplers, tires sitting in the shed, so that's going on. Plan on tinting this thing out, it needs some tint. Already has a tunnel cover, which is kind of cool. And again, look at, like, this is a, uh, you know, this is a northern car at its finest, man. It's that Buffalo, New York salt, the snow, the wetness. It ain't good for vehicles, that's for sure. It's okay though, because Big Blue here is going to make a complete transformation, and we are gonna give this thing some love. I'm gonna bring it to Eric, he's gonna paint correct it and stuff, so that's gonna be all here on the channel as well. But first and foremost, you gotta actually hit the dump and bring both of these vehicles to the new house. So, if you haven't already, drop a like, let's get it. <laughs> You want everyone to know you drive a manual. That is the official last time that car, this car, will be parked in a garage here at Marshall Springs. So it's been a long journey, it's been a good journey. You wanna drive Lucifer? Oh, uh, it's up to you. Yeah. We gotta drive one or the other. So I can drive Big Blue, we yeah. gotta hit the gas station. I mean, station. I was expecting to drive the Which the one truck. you wanna drive? You just gotta be careful. Huh. This is your grandfather's, I'll let you drive that one. <laughs> All right, worst case scenario, Ben crashes Lucifer. No. We take his life on film. Worst case scenario, he drives it good and doesn't mess anything up. We still take his life on film. Dude, you remember that one train you were talking to? All right. All right. All right, Big Blue, it's just me and you. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all for a moment. This F-150 might not be no Raptor or anything, but it's a 2010 4.6 V8, which obviously you're not finding many V8s in the trucks anymore. And my goal is to make this thing really sick to the point where if the motor does go out one day, I can uh, do the honors of putting a truck F-150 5.0 in this thing, which would be pretty sick. And you know, it was my grandfather's, man. Missed that guy a lot. So I definitely want to make him proud with this truck. With that being said, I hope you guys are ready for some F-150 content as well. But oh shoot, we got Benjamin and Lucifer. Ooh, you looking good there, boy. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, you ready? I mean, Let's yeah. see how good you do. Take off real quick. All right, <laughs> He hasn't driven it with the twin disc yet. Yeah, you got to put it on blast. Go ahead, let's see. I don't even know if I'm in gear. <laughs> oh, no. Short, Dude, you better be in gear, brother. Oh, he's Gucci. He's Gucci. Listen real quick though, guys. If any of you are in the market for a family vehicle, a new like Mercedes of any sort, AMG, C63, whatever, anything, go to my boy Ben, man. He's been too real. He's been helping me throughout these years and he's burning my clutch as we speak. I'm sure you heard that, but hey. Buy a vehicle from Ben at Mercedes of Midlothian. We'll film with you. We'll hang with you. Uh, just do my boy the favor. He's been grinding and you know, we want to we wanna sell you guys some cars. So come see Ben. All right, Blucifer, say your goodbyes. Oh, that thing is sick! Bro, I never get to see it from the outside. That bitch is 
is bad. Speaking about Lucifer, you can probably tell it's obviously back on the road. It's driving. It's all fixed up. And that's thanks to our boys over at UPR. So if you missed Monday's video, for the love of God, please go watch it. Support myself, man, and this Lucifer content. I know a lot of you want it. So go watch that video after this video. You can find it. Link in the description or the pinned comment. It means a lot. Mission number one, we got to get this hog some gas. And this thing is absolutely horrible. That's the one downside to these old 4.6 V8s. They just suck gas like nobody's business. And on top of that, it takes about $100 to fill. So not the best. Look at my man. He knows where the bumps are. He knows to go slow. He knows to angle it. God, that thing sounds sick, dude. I'll put this on vlog right now. If you guys help me average 100,000 viewers per video, I will literally buy Ben in S197. Not even cap it. Just gotta make that happen for me though. How's she feel, big dog? Feels good. Yeah? Yes, sir. I'm actually impressed. It's a little tricky to drive with that clutch. You could probably yeah, tell. Yeah, the bit. engagement's a little weird. Yeah. The last manual I drove was the Mach. Oh, dude. Man, it's to I mean, two totally water. different worlds. Now bro. I'm like, ooh, you gotta really gotta feel it. I mean, it is more connected, you know? For like, sure. With the car. Uh huh. But that just means you gotta be that much more yeah. like, in it, you know? Also, guys, um, I'm gonna start making these videos longer. A lot of you were. Hit me up, being like, yo, we love the longer raw vlog, just kind of seeing what I do on a day-to-day. -day. Dude, all right, listen. <laughs> this guy, Ben, literally has a girl, and it's like, I'm about to ship you off to her and just get it out. Because, dude, you're off the fucking hinge right now. I'm off you're watching this. <laughs> he needs help. Sorry for Ben ruining my little spiel, but I do want to start bringing you guys some more longer videos, more personal, and just kind of like a hangout video to where you guys can feel as if you're there. So if I'm doing a good job of that, especially with this video, let me know. I like the style. I could be myself. It's more natural instead of like super duper editing. Like, I just like putting that out there. This is what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So give me feedback on that. And, uh, you know, I'll adjust, but 100,000 views a video, I'll make that happen. I'll make it happen. He doesn't know, but I'll make it happen. All right, so while Derek is filling up, little change of plans, I'm gonna drive the truck, because I wanted Derek to drive Lucifer to the house, get it parked up. We're gonna get this uh, filled up. He's gonna hit the road in Lucifer, and then he's gonna be the one to park it in the driveway and Clark the garage. Has for the first. What are we doing? Dude, <laughs> well, now he's got He's got to go into. Now uh, I gotta go in, and they're, I, I'm gonna charge him for my time. Watch this. That looks so sick. Just wait until we get our hands on this thing and we make it really dope. As of right now, these two on the channel are the most iconic because Big Blue's been here since the very beginning and Lucifer's been here for what? How long have I had this car now? Four? Four or five years? I thought it was like, five. Easily at least. five years now. Five or six. Drop that like for both of them, man. Get some interactions on this video. Let's pump this thing to the moon and I want to hit our deal. Okay. All right, my G, you ready? F8. Boom. Exactly, I'm gonna back these cars into the garage every time. Obviously, pulling straight in will be a lot easier because it's a straight shot, but for the vlog and for the aesthetic, backing it looks so much better. exactly how I have to do it. So grateful that these garage doors aren't like 
OD skinny. Like, there's some OD skinny garage doors. And I think the garage this car was currently in was one of them, wouldn't you say, Ben? Oh, yeah. It was, that thing, it's it like, narrow. dude, the other day I actually grazed the um the weather stripping oh, with the, <laughs> with the yeah, mirror. Yeah, no, that one was a little tight. If that ain't America, I don't know what is, dog. Look at that. Oh, my God, dude. Maverick's going to be right there. The American flag. I'm so grateful because that thing's never leaving. We're going to keep that until... The last thread. Tell me that ain't sick, dude. And Maverick right there, and then the vet right there. What am I gonna do with myself? Then Big Blue over there, look at Big Blue. He's over there stunting, dude. He looks good from the front, too, I'll tell you what. Sorry for the interruption, guys, but you know, I have to go and put our partner on the map, Custom Interiors, and it's because of people like this, allow me to make videos of us going to our new house. Custom Interiors here, you've probably seen them on the channel before, but they specialize in really, really nice, really tight fitting seat covers which essentially can take your base model vehicle with the cloth seats and upgrade it to a premium so just by looking inside this box here we actually have some of the covers from custom interiors for the c7 corvette and ben why don't you give that a little feel right there tell the tell the people how that feels Ooh. it's a nice material it isn't it very nice. i mean it ain't like leather straight off a of cow's back but <laughs> i mean i'm sure it's vegan you can obviously see here though we do have a skin cover for the c7 corvette we've done them on my buddy's car we did them on a mustang it turned out amazing it took those boring cloth seats and really spiced it up so i wanted to go and put them on the map custom interiors has been a partner for such a long time now and they really do make things happen for myself so i have to go and show these products because i believe in them so do me the favor guys go check out their products link is in the description and make sure you use the promo code to dvp squad to save five percent off the entire website as many orders as you'd like take advantage of it save five percent go check out custom interiors and get your mustangs interior Right. I think it's time to get some for Big Blue, the F-150. We have to actually show you guys the initial day we did the closing paperwork. We got our keys. Romina was obviously with me. You got to get that full experience. So we're going to show you that right now. Stick all the way through it, man. This is a big, big day for both of us. Hope you guys enjoy. And here it is. Romina, what's today? Today is closing day. Finally. We are, what, three days delayed? Yeah. Which could be worse. Yeah, um, we were supposed to close on Friday. Work. Right oh shit! But yes, today is Tuesday. Today is our closing day. It's kind of surreal. Everything has been working against us. So we have ten minutes to make our closing. Essentially, we're supposed to close at ten a.m. It's nine fifty. Oh goodness! Fun stuff. But well, we're gonna head in here real quick. Wish us luck, and uh, when we come out, we should be homeowners. Well, guys, that is a that's a wrap. We now own a house. <laughs> Yep. Wow, that's so wild to think about. That's crazy. I, this happened so fast. Yeah, I like, my brain isn't like wrapped around. I know, I don't think it's officially hit us yet. I think once we're out of the apartment and we don't go to the apartment anymore, then I think it'll, uh, it'll fully like hit, you know? I just... But, yeah, we're going to our new house right now. It's ours. I know, literally. That means we're responsible for everything now. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> well, we're here. Our house. Is this for real? I think this is for real now. It's done. That's it. That, that's what it feels like? I don't know. Maybe it hasn't hit us yet. This is crazy. Like, the, we have so, oh my god, we have so much work to do. <laughs> and you know the fun part? Huh? <laughs> we have so much money to spend to furnish this bitch. <laughs> When's the kid? Once the house is furnished and Who needs good. furniture for a kid? Oh, baby. I think it's a good spot for the Mazda. It's out the way. Nope. Just us. Just us in our house. Damn, this is so weird. Just <laughs> us in our house. Why are you smiling? We're a good team, right? Yeah. This is so sick. With this house, definitely is gonna come some changes. You know, this ain't renting a house or renting an apartment anymore. This is like big boy, big girl stuff. Um, this window's good for filming. Yeah. I like that. Isn't that light good? <laughs> if you're interested in seeing what we do with this place, specifically, you know, the things that I'll be working out of, let me know because I wanted to do a video on this office where I start and just completely build it out on how I want it. I have some really cool plans for this space right here to make it my own. Obviously, I will be editing out of here. I'll be playing, you know, some games. This will be like my hangout and uh, essentially just my little man cave. So if you're interested in seeing that, let me know and I can make it happen. So now for one of my favorite parts, come out here to Romina's sunroom. I have our little walkway to our garage. And boom, 
we have the garage. This is gonna look really good in the near future. A lot of stuff is gonna happen in this place too. But as far as the bones, they're good to go. Just gotta make it my own now and make it a really cool HQ. So it's pretty exciting stuff. All right guys, so it is about what? Four or five hours? Yep. Four or five hours later and our homeowner experience has already begun. We spared in no time. Romina's in here busting out her sunroom, getting everything masked off. She's gonna be changing the color of this room. As far as our kitchen and second living room area, we're gonna have our sectional that we just bought. That's going here. Pretty big sectional, really nice. 58 inch going on the fireplace. That's gonna be really cool. And then we walk down to what the vet garage will soon be, which we got this masked off. And I think I'm gonna go a Gray in here as well. It's currently like this blue, which I'm not a big fan of, but um, gray because I want to put the vet here, which will look really good. And then she has a really nice Chevy um, Corvette banner that'll go there or there, maybe two of them that'll look really good. And I have like a retro Corvette tin circular sign that will go up. And this will just be a really, really clean show garage for her vet for my merchandise. And this is where all the processing will come out of. So. That's this room. Off this room, we have our dining room. And this sucker took some time. Let me tell you, this was not a, uh, a breeze when it comes to masking this off. But this is the dining room. We are doing all the trim in here. So we had to mask off all the trim. And that's the same for our main living room slash like movie room. Bathroom is definitely getting painted. Um, I started masking this off. Gonna get rid of that mirror, put a nicer mirror up. Bathroom's getting painted for sure. Remember how this looks now because in a month or so it's gonna be entirely different. But this is gonna be a really, really cool space for me to do my thing. So looking forward to that. Don't even ask how close we are to finished. Don't even ask. I'm hungry. I need food. We haven't eaten all day. We gotta go get food actually right now. We have to go. See you guys in a minute. What you just saw was the first home buyer experience. This was definitely one of the most stressful things I've ever done. Vermina as well. We went through it for a good month of just constant worries, constant just having to do this, that, and the other. So it all worked out and we are here at the new crib and the new DBP headquarters, which we haven't even started yet. And this is just the basic foundation. Just wait until I'm done with that garage. And he knows. Got you here. You saw yeah. it from the outside last was, time. It was kind of, it was getting dark. It was dark. It wasn't... I got the keys, bro. Oh, we yeah. can show you inside oh, yeah. now. Let's, Let's do go. it. Here, am I going to post up? <laughs> hey, you could have this room for real. Bring a we'll rent it to you. <laughs> this is the public bath. <laughs> public bathroom, and then across from the public bathroom, this is going to be the DVP office. Ooh. Yeah, so I already got this masked off. I already got my color color plan and stuff, so this is gonna be where we'll probably be spending a lot of time. A lot of edits will be cooked up in here, a lot of business deals will be done in here, and this is this is where time to go up, fellas, time to go up. Is this, is this where I'll be at, or is that? Okay. It don't oh, matter, dude, wherever you crash, you crash. At this point, <laughs> it don't matter. I have no idea why I'm so attracted to this place. Couldn't tell you. Ooh. Yeah, get this opened up. Maybe that's where I'll stay. That's the HQ. Dang, dude, this is a lot of room. I know, dude, it really is. And we'll see what it looks like, get a general idea when Blucifer's pulled into this. Um, it should be, uh, should be pretty large. Holy fuck! It's, uh, it's crazy, it's been how long in the making? I mean, years, I'm dude. You, really? Years. I mean, we've always been talking about this. I know. Oh, well, this is it, man. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening out of this place. I'll tell you what. If it's anything like the apartment garage, which I think is better, personally, yeah. I think it's, I think we're going to go crazy in here. Well, just having both of them side oh, by side. Dude. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm going to kind of give away the Project HQ build series. You can't say anything, okay? Don't say anything, but this is what I'm thinking. Mm. So imagine a fully epoxied white floor with the paint chips clear coated, all white, okay? Then we go to our walls that are already insulated. This is gonna be completely white. Every wall will be white. As far as the ceiling, all these boards and everything is getting gutted. I plan to have a company come out, do spray foam all on the ceiling, and then we're gonna hire somebody to come in and paint the rafters and up all black the blackest paint I can find. I'm gonna keep the rafters open because going right here, well, 
You can uh, you can just guess. And then once all that's done, to top it off, I want to get somebody that does woodworking to make me one of those DBP logos like this. I want one of these DBP logos made in wood, and I want it slapped on this wall, three dimensional, maybe with some custom lighting to illuminate on the wall. So I think this is uh, it's gonna be pretty sick. Got that's a lot of work ahead really of me, sick. but it's gonna be really. Sick. It'll be worth it. Hey, you got your buddy Buck Fan now. Facts. Anything? I'm Paint, probably like dig holes or something. Dig holes, I mean, <laughs> we might have to do a lot of that. Hey, we've been working on cars and stuff and your hands are a little dirty. No big deal. Dear Jesus, look at that, America. I mean, does it get much better than this? I don't know. America, baby. Oh, dude, that looks so sick. <laughs> oh my God, dude, this is like surreal. I haven't even gotten to like fully take it in. This is the first like official day of ownership. So like what you guys are seeing is raw as hell. Yesterday it was kind of a blur because we signed, no joke, a packet that thick. Bang, 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 bang. We came here, masked off all that stuff. So we went like straight to work. But now like being here, nice day, the car, the truck. The vet and Maverick aren't here yet. That's coming soon, but it does feel really good. It's kind of, it's, it's just wild taking this all in. And uh, you know, the boys and myself, Ramina, her friends, we're gonna, this place is gonna create a lot of memories for sure. So that's just like, that's just the cream of the crop right there. It's just gonna be so fun really like doing stuff here. So, but that looks sick, man. The flag just does everything for me. Let's, uh, let's get Blue put in his spot and uh, see what kind of room we're working with. You're good. It's quite funny because the guy that used to live here, um, back in the day, he had some drag cars and actually Mustangs, Fox body to be exact, and they would pull them out, he told me, in the driveway and just rip burnouts and just send it. He was like, I should have no problem in this neighborhood because nobody ever cared. I'm anxious to meet a lot of people. I met two neighbors already, but um, yeah, I'm just trying not to be that guy. You know, the new guy that comes in is like, fucking shut up. Yeah, you gotta respect. establish yourself and then you do it. Facts. Um, is the car <laughs> crooked? I feel like I'm yeah, crooked. Yeah, no, it is. Oh, yeah, dude. We got room in here, man. We got room in here. It's gonna look good. Uh, the one thing I am gonna have to really focus on is when I get the lighting in here, I'm gonna have to go OD bright because this sun, you can see it casts a lot of shadows, yeah. which, you know, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. There's nothing I can really do about it, but if I can make it super bright in here, It'll uh it'll allow me in the filming to be a lot smoother and less yeah, harsh. Yeah, you have a lot of room God, back here. This room. Yeah. Holy shit, this thing's bigger than I thought. Yeah. If you back the car in, like here, yeah, like in this orientation, there is a little dilemma because they have these things called quick jacks. Yeah. Now they slide under your wheel, and you legit pump it with your foot, and it lifts the, at the car dealership. Yeah. On a dolly. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing that because then I could realistically squeeze the vet right there, but the only issue is it's just gonna become such a pain. It's just one of those things to where it's like, okay, well, we're done driving it for the day. What do we do? Do we leave it outside or do we put it on quick jacks, yeah. move the car, put it back in, have yeah. to like strategically wobble it in? Like, yeah. so that's, that's kind of a, I'm trying to think on what we could do for the time being until we get the carriage doors installed. And if there's a company watching this and you know you can do like a carriage style door on this garage and you want a partner and stuff and we're not looking for anything free but we're looking for a partnership, email me at derekbrandproductions at gmail.com. It'll honestly be amazing. Like if I have to fly you out, provide the materials that you need and do whatever to get it installed and to do it, like let me know for real. Other than that though, we do have a lot of space in here, man. Buzz cut's gonna have a lot of room. Speaking about buzz cut, I was actually thinking, look at this one. Well, yeah, right you, have, you have a lot of room Dude, right I can here. back it in right there. Yeah. 
I was gonna put him right here. I'm still debating. I might put him right there, like backed in. Yeah. It'll look dope, but I mean, dude, he'll fit right there, no problem. I'm thinking Buzz Cut's gonna back in right yeah. there because I want to get him a super dope lawnmower yeah. spot. Yeah. You know, because I mean, you won't be, be mowing every every. No, day, it'll so. be once a week. And the cool thing is, is we're restoring it, so I'm sure yeah. Ben's gonna have some hands on with Hell that as well. Yeah. So it's gonna be like an art piece. Hell but. yeah. Park this hunk of junk next to the other hunk of junks, and it's even blue. I'm a piece of shit, too. Shut up. All right, dude, my neighbors are going to actually think I'm tweaking. Let me. <laughs> One child has been delivered, and the next are coming very shortly. So, again, March 1st, I plan to have everything in here. We're going to be living here come March 1st. That's the goal. But right now, we got to continue on our day, and uh, we're going to take Big Blue to the dump, and uh, just kind of go from there. So, as far as Blucifer, y'all say bye. We'll see you in a little bit. <laughs> First successful little stop. What do you think, Ben? Oh, dude, it's awesome. It's gonna be fun, Perfect. right? Hell yeah. Now, uh, the fun begins as a homeowner. <laughs> I had just realized, like, how much freaking work is involved with homes, dude. But as Ben was saying, it's just like, you know, it's not anything that has to happen overnight. I have so much time. Literally, I have the rest of my life. Yeah. If I want to, and yeah. we own it, so it's yeah. You gotta figure out what's first, and then go <sighs> yep. from there. Figure out what's first. Start knocking down a list, which we started yesterday, and. You know, years upon years of building and building, it should become our dream home. So it's good foundation so far. Plus you have me, because I like digging in dirt, so. I plan on doing a lot of DIY stuff that us car guys and mm -hmm. auto enthusiasts can really like, you know, yeah. take in and, and like appreciate. Do, do it right, I mean, there's the same thing. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in some, uh, some DIY stuff that's revolving around the car stuff, such as the whole garage build, the driveway stuff, anything that you guys can relate mm -hmm. and want to try on your own, you're gonna see it here first. So make sure you subscribe, drop this like right now, and uh, you know, this is just the beginning. Project HQ is gonna be big, promise you. So we're pulling up to our local dump and I just passed it. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and we passed it. You know, I was actually wondering, I think you can get like free mulch from here, but I don't know if that's good like landscaping mulch. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look into that. Thank you. And I'm just curious, how does the mulch situation work here? Uh, it's free. It is free? Okay, cool. All right. If you want to use them right here, let us know and we pass them over to load for you. Awesome. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. Not the friendliest. Oh, that's just she's like, uh, it's free. Jesus, bro. I don't know. Damn. About to turn her in the mulch. Just kidding, that might actually put me on the list. Remember all those car parts I was giving away? Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of them aren't here. Could be wrong. Could be right. Oh, look at this. What is this? Old, whoa iPhone 5C. I have one of those. Hello. Hallelujah. Anybody want to ship a package? Oh, dude. <laughs> Throwback. Remember these? Oh my god. Bag. If you know, you know. Look at this. TT500 splitter. She uh, gone. Lucifer's OEM spoiler. <laughs> she gone. And the last thing. She gone. Dump run number one out of 450,763 completed. Am I gonna be with you for all those runs? Yes. You better pay me. Fuck you. How's that mulch look, Ben? It, I mean, it's. I mean, it's mulch. Mulch. You might I don't know. What if I do like more? a base layer with that and just get some fancy bags of it? Yeah, you like as a top it'd be layer. A good, yeah, it'd be like a, a good, good little base, start right? For something. Maybe. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I might do that. I might do that. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna go ahead and conclude today's vlog. Thank you all so much for your support. Thanks for hanging out with Ben, myself, and Romino for the great news. We saw a big look into the next chapter of our lives, and I say our because none of this is possible without the support of the DBP squad and you guys tuning into every video. And you know, it really does go a long way the people that bought merch and stuff and speaking about merch i just want to throw this out there really quick uh the winner of the exhaust will be announced at the end of this month it's just a lot of data to go through and you know to get everything lined up with the entries and stuff but you did not miss it but seriously though thank you all so much i'm so excited to you know bring you this chapter it's going to be one for the books for sure and i want to say we have just been progressing over the years and i'm anxious to see what this house does for me and the channel and you know the builds and so on and so forth so thank you so much from the bottom of my heart hope you have a blessed rest of your day and and, you know, if you haven't already, drop your boy that like, subscribe, bell notifications, and go run up Monday's video. Please go run up Monday's video. There's a card that just popped up right there in the top right corner. It means a lot. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.